Most of the native plants at the National Botanic Gardens in Glasnevin are only beginning to wake up now, after winter, so they're not yet in bloom. This is the sea cottonweed, yeah. and there are only uh, 12 plants left in the wild. Botanists here are very aware of how endangered some of them are and why they are so precious. It's almost logically obvious that the rarer you are, the more susceptible you are to a change. So as these rare plants disappear, from a habitat, it tells us that the habitat is, is altering. The plant atlas from the Botanical Society of Britain and Ireland took 20 years of field work involving 2,500 people in Ireland. After almost 3 million observations and recordings about nearly 2,000 plants, the impact of human-induced habitat loss and degradation screamed out. This is our third plant atlas. It's showing a 56% decline in 20 years. It's just horrendous. We're really going to have to, you know, if you look forward, we're, it's not a bright picture if we don't address this now. Habitat loss, mineral enrichment and altered grazing pressures related to farming, forestry and other activities are the key drivers of plant loss rather than climate change. We've been chucking so much weed killer on the countryside, for example, that a lot of these southern weeds that like the sunshine um, are now getting into these bare patches in the countryside where we've sprayed the, 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 the roadside verge with, with weed killer. The big bare patch in they get, like a lesion in the landscape. All the seeds get in and they can proliferate and that's what's happening. The Botanical Society says that Ireland is languishing at 13th from the bottom in a list of 240 countries worldwide for biodiversity intactness and that human activity is the cause of this decline. It says that biomonotony seems to be replacing biodiversity and that recruiting human activity to put that right is the key. George Lee, RTE News at the Botanic Gardens in Dublin.